Welcome back. The Prime Minister of Macedonia is promoting his country's candidacy to join the European Union. On a visit to Britain and Ireland, Nikola Groevsky is meeting with officials in London. He's looking to encourage foreign investment in Macedonia and promote the cause of the country. The International Monetary Fund says Macedonia has weathered the economic downturn better than most in the region. It actually says that there is a brighter outlook and upgraded growth for this year and next, at least the forecasts. There are serious challenges for the coming years. Unemployment in the first quarter of this year stood at 32%. Macedonia runs a large trade deficit, leaving it dependent on foreign finance. The IMF recently said progress towards EU accession would bolster prospects for inward investment. But obviously, there has to be that crucial convergence uh, of economies that makes the whole thing worthwhile and not to be a disaster in the making. The Prime Minister joins me now. Thank you for coming in. Many thanks. Thank you for the invitation. No, it's a pleasure to me. You're very welcome. Now, uh, the first thing is, I. I, I when we look at the European Union uh, negotiations, you are still some years away from negotiations and admission. What's your realistic assessment of when you could enter the Union? This year, October 14, we received a, a positive report from the European Commission, which report is sent to the European Council with recommendation, recommendation for opening of negotiation process. If everything, if everything is going well, uh, we have to start negotiations next year. And having in mind that we are a small country and very fast we can adopt to the, and can, can change the things, yes, I believe for three, three and a half, four years maximum we will finish negotiations. Would you be disappointed if your country is not a member by 2014? 2015? Probably will be. Probably be, will be uh, disappointing if uh, 2014 we are not. We have good chance now and we are working on this. We, we did a lot of modernization, a lot of reforms, a lot of things are done. And as a result of this, we have positive report and recommendation for starting of negotiations. And we will continue in the future to, to make the reforms, recommendations and so on. It's one thing to be a part, and one, one thing the union is seeing a lot of the new, with the new countries, it's one thing to be, a, a, if you like, an official member, but has the ethos, has the philosophy of what the union stands for, democracy, capitalism, free markets, open markets, all these sort of things, are they coming along with, or are you having to force them upon your country? Of course, we are sharing the same values of... Uh, are you? Yes. Yes. You see, in a letter to your, in a letter to your own politicians. Yes. You talk about it's time for a final battle against politicians that left behind waste, misery, apathy, crime, lies and twisted values. It's time to thwart their attempts for taking Macedonian citizens and Macedonia hostage. Now, I understand that's politics. Yeah. That's, that's this letter that I sent to the, to the members of the party that usually I'm doing once in a year. Many people in Macedonia understand as a preparation for early elections, which is, I would say, exclusively for you, it's not true. Actually, this is just kind of mobilization for, for the people to join the progressive forces in the country. The European Union is obviously extremely important to your future goals for the country. Very important. But with unemployment at such high levels and deficits... Just to say that unemployment was much higher. It's reduced now. Right. right. It's still very high, but the, the process is very positive. Do you believe that next year you will enjoy the sort of growth that will enable you to bring unemployment down and that will enable you to start shifting the structural imbalances in the economy? I think that unemployment will go down. Uh, not just because we introduced many good measures which are attracting investors. For example, we implemented uh, flat rate tax Mm -hmm. flat tax with 10 percent uh, uh, personal, yeah. uh, personal income tax, the flat rate tax, 10 percent personal income tax, 10 percent profit tax and for the profit which is not distributed to dividends there is zero percent of, of tax. With so, so the European perspective will, will help uh, and encourage the investors in the future to use these benefits and that means new working, uh, new, 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 new jobs. Prime Minister, please come back again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'm going to have to bring it to end because we have some. Stay there for a second. We have some.